just getting ready my bag here for tomorrow morning. I'm going to be an early start. I'm going to head up in the dark, uh, get ready for sunrise, and bring a hide. And uh, I'm heading up to local woodland where I actually started feeding for red squirrels. Last time I was up there, I had one red squirrel there, and half of the food that I put out was gone. So it might still be a little bit early to get a lot of squirrels attracted there, but I'm really excited to give it a shot. There's also loads of songbirds uh, eating from the feeders, so I'll try that out as well. And stay tuned until the end, because I really want to try this thing where I get one of the songbirds to feed from my hand. So I'm really excited to try that out, see if they're comfortable enough to do that. Anyways, I'll catch you guys up there tomorrow morning. I have to say it was so worth getting up early and hiking up here in the dark. Now though, I get into my hide, get comfortable, and hope that we get some squirrels. So far, just some cold tits. No squirrels yet. So the wait continues. The light is starting to hit the trees. So I've had two red squirrels here this morning. Not many. <laughs> One of them was for a while. I was probably feeding for about 10, 15 minutes. About 8 o'clock. Um, but I didn't get a photo of it then. It just ran straight for the box. I tried to film it. Sat there, fed for 
for the 10 to 15 minutes and then straight all, straight away. And the next one, I'm hoping I got some images of. It started showed up in the tree just behind where I'm feeding. And it kind of climbed around there for a while before it came over, took a couple of nuts and then just climbed away again. Um, so I'm hoping, I haven't really checked. Let me have a look. Lately I've just been photographing cold tits. A lot of cold tits here. And they're so quick, unbelievably quick. Um, so I really need to kind of predict where they're going to come. But it's good fun. I'm loving some of the background. Some of the light has been hitting the trees in the back. Sometimes I get a little bit of dapple light in between uh, onto, onto the cold tits as well. Oh, they're just flying all over. Let's see. Got some red squirrel images here. Oof. Slightly, slightly out of focus. It was moving a bit fast. My shutter speed wasn't high enough. Um, so, unfortunately, not the best shots this morning. What a place to be in the morning. You hear the J? It's a very screechy scratchy kind of call she's been calling down here now for the last five minutes loads of cold tits over here by the feeders unfortunately I've only had two squirrels two red squirrels but I haven't had this up for very long and idea is to keep this up for the winter uh, keep feeding here um, through the winter months for a bit for birds and a bit for red squirrels and come up here set up a hide and just enjoy my time up here. Just so nice to be up here, just listening to sounds of nature in the morning. And I've had a lot of a lot of crossbills flying over. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to attract crossbills to my feeders. Okay, that'll do for today. So, what I've done here is I've fed the birds here for a couple of weeks and I've taken away all, all the feeders just now and I'm standing right next to where they used to be fed. And there's actually a little branch right here which just helps them, I kind of give them something to, to feel safe on, like right next to where I am. So they used to be fed right back here um, I've taken the feeder away. Uh, I actually put it down on the ground first, but I found it, so I have to actually hide it. <laughs> um, and then I'm holding my hand out quite close to the little perch here that they, they tend to land here regularly. And that gives them a little vantage point. They can kind of check me out, make sure that they feel safe before they actually land on my hand. And not all of the cold tits will land on my hand. Um, I've had probably six or seven times a bird land on my hand today and I couldn't tell you if it was all the same bird or if it was different ones. Loads of them come, check it out, and just like, no, 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 we're not doing that. But uh, have patience, you know, feed in advance. These colder months that we're coming into now, winter and that, is easier because birds take a little bit more risks because they do need that food. So if you want to give this a shot, you know, I encourage you to give it a shot because it's, it's really fun and it's really rewarding having a bird feed out of your hand. So give it a shot at home. If you're new to my channel, my name is Espen, and this channel is all about wildlife photography. So every Sunday I make a vlog like this one and go out into the field for some wildlife photography. And I've also started a two minute tip video, kind of a quick video every Thursday. Stay tuned, I'll be back out next week for some more. So, catch you then. Bye.